everybody welcome back to my channel this is tharika so in this video we are going to see how we can do a join query so first of all um, in order to do that we know that we should have a requirement of two different data tables right so first let me show you what are the data tables that i have chosen for this video so here is my template uh, which is my reference uh, data table i have taken here and the other data table is students table so so this is the one table where i am having the student names uh, total marks class and the section so by using these two data tables so let me just keep them side by side so these are the two different data tables so i want to join both of them considering class as my data uh, reference so let's say if the classes are matching then i should pick the id against that particular class and i'm going to create a id for that particular student so how i'm going to do that let's get into the video and check so just just like this if you have any reference table or uh, and the actual table then you can just mix the two tables join the two tables based on a condition which is a column name and uh, you can just retrieve the fields out of your particular table and create a new table which is a combination of two different uh, contents from two different tables so i hope this is clear so let me first go ahead and show you the syntax how we can do this so for that i have uh, taken this uh, id creation template and i have named it as dd dt grades let me name this as something else mm, or rename this thing over here to id table okay so i'm having this as my id table and the other table consists of all the information about the students so this is named as dt students so i've written a syntax here and that syntax would join and create the ids and this is my uh, final output table so let me show you how does that looks like so this is my final table where i have uh, provided the ids based on the uh, class section and the id against that particular class from a other data table so let's see how we can do this thing uh, let me take an assign activity and show you how we can understand the syntax of this join query it's so simple you don't have to put a lot of effort over here um, it's just kind um, like how we have written for the previous examples so if you haven't watched uh, the previous series or the previous videos on the link i would suggest you go and watch the basic videos because that will give you enough understanding of what we are doing over here so first of all we know it right uh, we have to follow a syntax like from uh, from which data table i want to extract so my data table is from students so let's say i'm going to declare from a in students so dot as enumerable we know this uh, we use this particular as enumerable so that we can apply all the functions from on this uh, rows of data so this a contains all the rows from this uh, dt student and what exactly we are going to do we are going to apply the conditions right so here first we have to understand uh, we have two different data tables unlike the previous examples so let me just uh, hover here and show you so it's just the syntax where we have to uh, keep the things in mind so firstly we have two different data tables let me keep them handy so that i can keep the column names from directly from here sorry this is employees table students here yeah. okay so i just need this header information let's go back to the studio and here i would write the query okay so from a in 
students okay so uh, this will hold all the rows of that particular data table what exactly we are going to do here we are going to perform a join so we have to join it with b in dtid table and the same thing we have to convert this into an enumerable so once after we convert both of them in an enumerable so we have to join them based on a condition so what is our condition here class right so if this if the class of uh, the student is matching with the class in the template then we are going to pick the id okay so what i am going to provide in this field is so just provide on we are providing a condition on a of so a is students table so students table class dot to string equals b tables class so you have to make sure that whatever the header name you are writing is as per the data table that you have created so if these both are matching if these both are true then what we are going to do we are going to create an object okay so for that we have to use a keyword called let so i have already explained about this keyword how this works and everything in the previous videos go and watch update and uh, select and where queries if you haven't uh, have gone through them so i would also provide the link in the description you can just check it out so i'm providing an object let's say reference object or id object okay so so this id object so this is a basically a variable right so we are going to create the values the temporary values that we can hold here okay so this id what are the fields that i want in a new data table i want the student name and student name i want student class i want section i want and along with that i want to create an id so for that let me copy this for that uh, student name is in the dt students table so i should give a of the student name value and then student class and then the section and then the id right so id is something that we are going to create so how we have to create that id is a combination of different things right so let's say in this example i will show you one more function which is concat how we can do the concatenation so let's say i would give hyd and then after that i wanted to provide um the class name okay so class name is from a of class and i want to take the section and i want to take the id from the second table which is matching the class okay so i am taking b of id so b of id because id is from a different table okay so that's all so we have created 1 2 3 4 4 different columns and so once after that is done let's this id is the variable temporary variable which holds this values so those values we have to add it into a data table so for that what i'm doing i'm going to use a select okay so what this select actually does that is the uh, point so if you have seen from the previous examples so let me show you that mm, it is very simple uh let me go to the update query example which we have recently seen because it's is just the same that we are using over there and here mm, here it is so if you see this particular example what exactly we are doing we are concatenating based on our requirement and we are adding these things up so i am going to copy the same thing is just the same thing but as per the join query we have to tweak the syntax a little bit and understand which columns that we have to match 
So if you say I'm going to use the same thing, but here instead of DT output table, I have something which is final table. That's it. So whatever the X that we are passing here is the ID, this variable which holds the values temporarily. And that's it. So it shows some error. Let me see. A comma or a valid expression continuation expected. So one, two, three, three columns given. Okay, here we have to close the concat. That's it. Okay, so we have created four different columns, and we've also seen uh, a scenario where we get the object. So as we are copying this to the data table, just assign it into a data table. Let me comment this out. So we know that uh, in, in one of my previous examples, I have shown you how uh, uh, object reference error usually comes up in a link query cases. So in for that, I have uh, done a video how you how you can, you know, uh, overcome it. So you have to make sure that you have a data table, right? So I'm just coming over here. It's just student name, class, ID. I just want to add one more field, which is section, okay? So just a section and then this section, I just want to move it here. So good. This, so let's execute and see. How this changes okay let's debug and i'll put a break point here let me close this first retry okay we've come to final so let's see what is there in the final table okay, we're good with the output so let's go over to the project folder refresh and see student id table so if you just see here we've got the ids with uh, okay let me open the reference table as well it's my reference table Okay, so what I've written, HYD is common for everything. So I have written a combination of class and section 1A, 2A, 3C, 4C, 5A, 6B, 7B, and 8D. So this is all perfect. And what is the ID that I'm taking from this table? So if it's an uh, class 1, I should get yellow. If it's a 2, red, green, blue, orange, violet, and gray and pink so let's change a little bit in our uh, uh, workflow and see what actually happens okay so classes let's change this to one i don't know what is wrong with this let this be two and this be four ten okay so whatever the changes happens that should come into sheet two okay let me oh i think i should do the changes in the student table not in the student id table let me change them here okay fine So the changes has to be reflected in sheet two. Let's debug. Okay, refresh it over here. So let's take the reference and match it up if it's coming proper. 
okay so all these three or ones so i should get yellow all against two two means red six means violet four means it should give blue ten is white so it's perfect and it has given me that it has generated the id for me as per the conditions that i've written so this is one example um, that how you can use uh, two different data tables match up a condition and pick up the values from different tables and add it up into your output data table so this is how you can do um, and i will try to pick up few other scenarios like how you can match up and try different functions by using the join query so if you are also facing any scenarios as such do let me know in the comments so if it is a, a useful scenario for everyone i will try to pick it up and make a video on it and do let me know if you find this video useful and do not miss any of the future videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching